The little forex trader are doing big things now. The last time we met, you see me getting all scared, jumping out of the trades and all of that. Now all in the trade like a top G. Scaling means aggressively. <laughs> Lower the top. What's good traders and traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Drake Costin. The first time over here, what we do about this YouTube channel is to analyze the financial market, like chop chop it up in a pieces so each and everyone can understand. All right, traders and traders. The last time we meet, um, I showed you a trader that took a thought, um, cost somewhere around 235 profit on that. But this one, right, trade across all multiple accounts was a little bit over a thousand thousand dollars right so that's not bad we improving as we're going right this time around i did not cut up the trades i did not take partials um I scaling aggressively just learning and growing from what i did in the past because we don't really look at mistakes we don't look at losses right we look at lessons right so each and every step is a lesson yeah so i took those lessons from the last trade and see how i can improve on this trade as you know that I'm a position trader, right? I'm not a scalper or a day trader like that. So every time I see a position and the position now is in my favor, right? I have to go in on it hard, right? Aggressive on the first move with high risk, right? Slowly scaling in, slowly scaling in, just taking advantage of the move, all right? So let me take it to the charts and give you a breakdown of this trade. And I'm also going to show you the overall profits that I made from this trade. Not only that, I'm also going to show you a few withdrawals that I took from this trade as well. Straight back into the bank account. Because you know we have to show the trade from the charts, right? To the MetaTrader profits, to the withdrawals, to the confirmation from the broker. Back directly into the bank account. We have to show that track right to show that we're the real deal we're doing it right and all we need now is just scaling up all right let's dive straight into it all right so for a dive on so trading view give you the bread on the chart that's really wanted to show you my meta trader right this is a live account as you can see the broker that i use is hf market so if you really want to sign up with the broker right just click the link in the description below so far, we have a total of roughly $360 running, right? Floating at 300 plus pips, right? We have um, 160 pips on the first entry, um, roughly 98 pips on the second one, roughly 76 pips on the third entry. So I just went a little bit harder on the scaling in, right? The objective for me to not to take a ton of partial chop chopping on the trade and just hold the full position and go harder on the scaling right so as i tell you from the last last video where i cashed out 234 dollars and when, when i was calculating i realized i could have made like 1500 dollars off that move so i just really have to be much more patient much more confident in my ability and to just um all these trades a little bit longer not jumping out of the trade like some little punk and all of that so yeah so these are my position live account right and these are the position that i'm on right so just wanted to show you the meta trader first show you that we're doing this legit yeah so let's take you over to the chart and break down oh i made this back right so let's go all right traders and traders so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the plot of entries on the chart so you can see um, where I entered in the chart and all of that, right? So, so let's go through. So trade is closed now, say 1500, um, actually we drew 168, right? So took out 168 to enjoy myself. These are the profits, right? These are the profits, right? So these are the profits right here. Got a little small eight dollar loss on one of the trying to scale in, in, but you know, what I mean, I recovered that massively, right? So this is the movement right here. 
right main entry scaling scaling all right and then bomb did that with draw that 168 all right so i'm gonna take it through everything from our intern on the charts and what what was going through my mind on the charts for the withdrawals everything right so the whole process right so this is the process process of what you you get me all right so let's go to the first entry right so enter that 195364 right so full transparency right live account as usual right um i think you want to see my name and all of that so let's press control then so i can show the navigation all right there you go andre leslie all right so andre leslie right there kill the navigation so it's my account live account right so watch me now all right so we at 195364 right 195364 so let's plot that 195364 let's plot that so it's 195364 right so we're there right 195364 all right next entry we we'll have that at 196003. So it's 196003. And the final entry, we have that at 196220. All right. 196220. All right. So Let's break it down now. So it's simple, right? We're on the daily, we're on the daily chart, right? So from the previous video that I spoke about, from the from the charts to to the bank, or can't remember the name of the video. I said it's just a, a simple play, higher highs and higher lows of the trend line, right? So if this was the high, right? I call the move up the year of the previous one, right? So I expect price to make a higher high come back some somewhere around at um 198 here and continue to push up right so but before it, it continued to break this high i realized that there is some form of pullback right so so okay it's pulling back taking out um sellers a bit right so just to continue up because we're in an option right see during the daily time looking from the higher time frame we're in an option so if we're in an option, I'm not looking for sales. It's just simple as that. You know, I mean, we're making higher highs and higher lows, right? So let's just keep it simple. We're making higher highs and higher lows. So can we go down to a smaller time frame now? All right, so simple. So price came back, all right? So that this trading thing is simple, you know, guys, right? So this was whole roof, right? right all roof right here came down and create new floor right so so this was resistance break and retest form support right simple as that price came back and form support you know what i look for right bearish candle closure bullish candle closure weeks at the bottom right simple as that support has been formed and that's why i enter the trade Right, so it's just all roof, new floor, right? Break and retest, right? Enter the trade, I'm in a option, right? Then I realized that 196 was a really nice era. So, right, if you go back to the daily time frame, I realized that 196 was a real cool era to enter at, right? So, you see that when I look to the left right here, I realized that. 196 was being respected a lot, right? So it was being respected a lot. When I look at the past two days, being respected a lot. So if I see this pull here, it's a high probability that here will continue to respect as well. Let's go back to like the H1, right? So, bomb, I saw it was playing around here a bit, right? Playing around here a bit at the 196. 
faking out um sellers like if you want to go down right with all of these stock rejections so i knew that here what we're not uptrend right so the part that we're not uptrend right i'm just doing the same thing right watch me roof i should say floor 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 maintain here i saw this put up right here all right to show that here what this weak rejection at the bottom so we had top rejection that did you take it when i see the bottom rejection now i just enter right it's just simple as that you follow what i'm saying and then now i said to myself that being that we had these top weeks here right if i can clear these top weeks then i can also take another entry because these top weeks right here shows that sellers are in control so if i clear these top weeks that shows that buyers are back in control it's just simple as that right and i roll it up all the way up here right and cash out so i don't need anything more than that right so from here right so up here let me come down let me do that again from here to up here you're looking at uh roughly a 200 pip move you get me so but it's not really a 200 pip after scaling in so after scaling in with, with, with uh, multiple entries i'm looking at uh, roughly a net 300 pips thereabouts you get me if memory serves me right so i'm good with that you know what i mean i'm good with that so this is the main entry so the main entry right the main entry i use the highest lot size use a smaller lot size on the scaling to manage the position right because what if the scaling not fail or something like that you know what i mean you don't really want that scaling to eat out your profit and or stuff like that so you know what i mean so you have to manage the risk you follow me so basically that's that's just it um traders and traders you know what i mean keep it simple we're not option right come off them lower time frames yeah we're in an option right so i'm just keeping it simple right i'm just keeping it simple so right now right i could have held this a little bit more but i'm okay so between my personal and to my personal and, and funded account i made 1k and change let me show you on the screen right here all right you can see it on the screen right here all right out of the two i made 1k and change right so I'm, I'm i'm good with that all right i'm good with that so it's simple all right all i'm gonna do now is just chill right we're in an option on this trend line right here look at what the trend line is doing so we we'll probably do something like this come back here all right to about there back to the trend line to push up or i could come here do some foolishness and push up i don't know you know what i mean i don't know what it's gonna do but i'm just chilling and just waiting until the next opportunity in an option you know what i mean so i'm gonna be buying until the uptrend like it's broken you know what i mean until it's broken all right till it's broken so it's just as simple as that traders and traders right so let me take you over now to um some withdrawals right so i showed you the withdrawal on the meta trader so right so i'm just going to show you the withdrawals right now right on the screen so you can see for yourself here it goes right here go them withdrawals right here go them withdrawals right so this is how we do you can see right there from hfm right tell me tell me about my withdrawal has been processed you can also see it right here in my bank account and it reach iron here in ja you get me so i uh, so we're really doing this you know i'm really doing this and all i'm doing right now is just leveling up scaling up right um taking more fund account challenges higher challenges trying to pass higher challenges just, it's just leveling up right now because i have the skill set now i've been working years to get the skill sets i have the skill set now so it's just a matter of just leveling up right now and just scaling up right whether it can be by a funded accounts or whatever you get me so you're up and ready you know i mean to trade with me if you want to trade it with me just join the community click the link in the description join the community and i'm here so assist each and everyone all right thank you guys for watching 
And if there's any questions that you have, please the message in the comment section and I'll sure to answer each and every trader and traders to help you to the best of my ability. Right here within this video, you see I'll show you the process of a trader. Trading is tedious, right? I would say that, oh, it's something that cannot be done or, or something like that. Once you put in the work, you will see the result. Yeah, I've been doing this for quite some time. Unlike other people that I start with, the only difference is this quote, right? And if it's one thing I needed to take from this video is this quote. The only traders that fail are the ones that quit. Until next time, it's true your body, no starting. I'm out.